1994. Immediately afterwards, in order to uh, implement these uh, recipes were such that in just one month we lost 10 billion uh, by about 18 or 20 percent. But in 1997, the same recipe, and this is what we did. We increased interest rates, uh, which reached more than 30 percent a year. We got uh, to the second half of 1998 last year. For my re-election, we lost in just one month $20 billion. Then the elections came. Perhaps if the elections had come a few months ago, were devastating. In January of this year, the real was devalued by about 40 to level of 50 percent this year. Again, the interest rates went to 45 percent. I'd like to ask you, until when? Are we going to have I've got to think of the most, not just the most orthodox economist, but I don't think we have studied enough what each other has done and how it might relate to our own experience. For example, in the countries here represented, uh, taking Brazil to the side a moment, just let's take the EU and the US and Canada. Now. Let's go to the global issues and the issues represented here by Brazil. And I would like to talk very briefly about one, international institutions, two, what the countries, the, the emerging economies themselves have to do. Can Enrique do things that would help this? Chile had a capital control system that worked pretty well to try to regulate radical movements of money in and out of the country. But the only reason it worked well is Chile had a system that was recognized as having integrity and effectiveness so that people still wanted to put their money there even if there was some control on how rapidly it could move in and out. Governments have to have good, honest financial systems. You can't make people keep their money in a place they no longer have confidence in. In most developing countries, governments are too weak, not too strong. But here's Uganda proving that you can get the rate down and, oh, by the way, they have economic growth at 5% or 6% a year. So national policies matter. I have been in Sao Paulo and Rio, two of the largest cities in the world, two of the most wonderful places on earth, but there are millions of children there that will have no future unless their families can make a decent living. 